Thank you all for joining me today. My name is Jonathan Keller, and I have the privilege of being the Director of Product Management for the BigQuery team here at Google Cloud. Very excited to, to have the opportunity to walk you through a lot of the innovations that we're working on to help you unlock value from your data. It's no secret why we're all here. The world has become much more data-driven, and every company and every industry is on their journey to figure out how to leverage data to drive value. Unfortunately, though, many companies are still struggling to realize tangible and measurable value from their data but they want to learn how to provide better customer experiences or drive operational excellence through more intelligent decision-making and, and improve processes. Happy to be here to share with you many of the innovations that BigQuery is working on to help customers around the world finally be able to untap the power of their data. If you're not familiar with BigQuery, it is Google's, Google's cloud scale enterprise data warehouse that sits at the center of our open platform strategy that delivers value from data. It of course supports standard SQL with DML. It's truly serverless, multi-tenant, encrypted, durable, and ready for the largest internet scale services and also highly secure enterprise workloads from gigabytes to exabytes. It is also intelligent with built-in ML, extensibility, and support for in-memory analytics. It has a simplified architecture that unifies real-time and batch workloads and supports virtually unlimited number of analytics use cases. And it does this all with industry-leading reliability and predictable costs. Just to drill into a little bit of how Google is able to uniquely deliver this value, BigQuery takes advantage of Google's full stack innovations from hardware and storages, network, all the way up to the software that has been used to analyze data and search, excuse me, analyze data for search and advertising for over a decade. We are not strangers to big data analytics. This full stack approach allows you to access stateless compute, which enables virtually unlimited capacity to analyze your data, there's no dedicated VMs or no clusters for you to worry about, think about sizing, or try to manage. Our unique network and storage infrastructure provides incredibly high throughput, making it easy for BigQuery to you analyze exabytes of customer data every day and support streaming ingestion of petabytes of data every day as well, all while providing industry-leading reliability. And now with the recent natively integrated BI engine, we're leveraging this amazing full stack to power in-memory and real-time analytics as well. I wish I had more time to walk you through everything we are working on to provide an innovation pace that supports your business. But unfortunately, I just have time to call out a few things from the number, huge number of capabilities that have been released over the last few months. So whether it's governance capabilities like our field level encryption, our automatic DLP integration with BigQuery to help you secure your data, or continue to invest in advancing in data warehouse machine learning with BQML, or powerful new SQL workload management capabilities, we're committed to meeting your analytics needs. With that quick recap of where we've been investing, I wanna to pivot to a deep dive in the areas of investment we're making to really support your business building and running applications in the cloud, such as interoperability support that breaks down data, data and application silos, our migration and management support for helping you get to the cloud and save money when you're here, and finally, a ton of investments in cracking that hard problem of really getting value from data with real time and predictive analytics. As we think about BigQuery's interoperability, it's really not like any other data warehouse. You get choice of storage, cloud, tools, engines, and languages. And we make that possible to leverage all these choices with a consistent security and governance framework. So whether it is our recent launch of Cloud Spanner Query Federation or the launch of auto-scaling serverless Spark integration, which you can learn more about in the open and integrated data analytics session, or some of the new capabilities I'm gonna walk you through now, you get to make the choice that is right for your business and your data analytics needs. Speaking of choice of cloud, we are very excited to announce the general availability of BigQuery Omni for Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Most companies have data across multiple clouds today, and that frequently creates data silos that make it difficult, if not even impossible, for analysts to access and leverage that data. BigQuery Omni is a flexible cross-cloud analytics solution that lets you cost-effectively access and securely analyze data across GCP, AWS, and Azure. With BigQuery Omni, you can leverage the familiar BigQuery UI, API, or standard SQL to quickly answer questions and share results from a single pane of glass. With net new capability that we are announcing called cross-cloud transfer, you can use standard SQL to, to bring the results of your analysis back to GCP with a simple copy statement and combine that data and perform advanced analytics with something like BQML or aggregate the data from multiple clouds for Looker and BI tools. BigQuery Omni is a serverless and connects directly to your data on AWS or Azure. You can securely run analytics on another public cloud with a fully managed infrastructure. All compute runs on BigQuery Omni clusters in the same AWS or Azure region as your data storage. To learn more about BigQuery Omni and see a demo of our new cross-cloud transfer capability, 
please visit the data analytics session on multi-cloud and we encourage you to come give it a try. In addition to the release of BigQuery Omni, happy to announce that we are making the secure lake house architecture a reality across all three clouds. With the introduction of authorized external tables, it is now possible to have fine-grained governance and security permissions on lake house data. Authorized external tables allow you to set up a service account for accessing your data natively in Google Cloud Storage, S3, or Azure Storage, so you don't have to grant privileges to the raw data or worry about physical file layout. You can use BigQuery's native policy capabilities to provide table, column, or row-level security for your data and data lakes. And those policies are consistently enforced regardless of whether you're accessing the data through SQL, Dataproc, or other engines like Spark. Net, you no longer have to care about where your data resides or what engine you're using to access it in order to provide consistent, secure, auditable, and even policy-driven access to your data. Before today, BigQuery customers had the ability to create user-defined functions in SQL or JavaScript and run them entirely within BigQuery. And while these functions are performant and fully managed from within BigQuery, customers expressed an interest and desire to extend BigQuery UDFs to their own external code. We had requests from healthcare providers who wanted to bring their existing security platforms to BigQuery, financial institutions that wanted to enrich their BigQuery data with real-time stock updates, and data scientists who wanted to be able to use Vertex AI alongside with BQML. To help these customers extend BigQuery into other components, we created BigQuery External Functions. BigQuery External Functions provides a direct integration with Cloud Functions, GCP's serverless execution environment for single purpose functions. With external functions in BigQuery, you'll now be able to write a function in Node, Python, Go, Java, .NET, Ruby, or even PHP, and execute it on columns passed in from BigQuery SQL queries. BigQuery external functions let you incorporate BigQuery SQL functionality with software outside of BigQuery. We've, start, we've already started working with key partners like Protegrity on using external functions as a mechanism to merge BigQuery into their security platform, which will help us help our mutual customers address their stringent compliance controls. Also happy to announce the preview of Analytics Hub, which will help organizations publish, discover, subscribe, and share data assets so they can seek broader insights and ask bigger questions. BigQuery has had cross-organizational sh data sharing in place capability since inception, and we have thousands of organizations sharing hundreds of petabytes of data today. Our Analytics Hub makes that experience of discovery and management much easier. Analytics Hub will allow publishers to create exchanges that combine unique Google data data sets with commercial industry data sets and public data sets. Publishers will be able to curate data exchanges internally and externally, and they'll be able to view aggregated usage metrics on how popular their exchanges are. With other interoperability capabilities I mentioned, it will soon be possible to share data in the Analytics Hub in place from your data in a data lake as well. In addition to the unique Google data that we are working to bring to Analytics Hub, such as the recent release of Google Trends data, which enables discovery of top search terms across locations, we're also partnering with Crux Informatics to accelerate access to data, and on, data on Analytics Hub. Data providers across finance, geospatial, retail, and more are all bringing their data to BigQuery and delivering it through Analytics Hub. We will announce more partnerships as we get closer to general availability of Analytics Hub next year. Deciding to move to the cloud is a big commitment, both in tech, processes, and change management. And knowing that it is the right choice for your business, both for the capabilities and locks, but also for the overall TCO is equally important. Happy to highlight some capabilities we're invested in that make all aspects of moving your data to warehouse to the cloud and to BigQuery on GCP a good bet. I'm excited to introduce the BigQuery Migration Service, a comprehensive solution for migrating data to BigQuery, which will enable fast and low risk migrations. The BigQuery Migration Service speeds up Teradata to BigQuery migrations with predictable tooling for customers and partners, which cover migration planning, data transfer, automatic SQL script conversion, and data verification. Support for data, additional data warehouses is also coming soon. One of the hardest pieces of any data warehouse migration is modernizing legacy business logic like SQL queries, scripts, and stored procedures. The BigQuery Migration Service provides fast, semantically correct, and human-readable translations of legacy objects with no ongoing dependencies. It supports a broad range of Teradata artifacts, including DML, DDL, and BTEC, and translations can be run in batch mode or ad hoc directly from the BigQuery SQL workspace. Customers like Walmart and Mercado Libre have used it to successfully translate millions of queries, and we encourage you to come give it a try. When doing analytics at scale, understanding what is happening and being able to take action in real time is critical. 
And many of our customers also desire capacity management capabilities to optimize their BQ environments. We're happy to launch a new BigQuery administration hub experience with new features such as research charts and the slot estimator. The capabilities help our admin users to understand and manage their BigQuery environments like never before. Research charts provide a native, out-of-the-box experience for real-time monitoring and troubleshooting of your BigQuery environments. These charts make it easy to understand your historical patterns across slot consumption, job concurrency, and job performance, allowing you to take actions to ensure your BigQuery environment continues to run smoothly. This is now generally available for all customers that purchase slot reservations. Many customers with pre-purchase capacity also want to understand, should I buy more or do I have too many slots? Would additional slots affect my job performance? The Slot Estimator is an interactive capacity management tool that helps administrators estimate and optimize their BigQuery capacity based on jobs performance. It looks at historical usage and helps customers make capacity planning decisions. It also provides estimates on price for performance when adding or reducing slots. This is now available for public preview for all reservation customers. In addition to the admin tooling, sometimes customers have one-off or spiky workloads and flex slots can be a great solution. In fact, many customers have been leveraging flex slots to scale up or down their environments via simple SQL statements. This is great for one-off batch workloads, but does require you to estimate and manage your capacity. We're now happy to announce the preview of the flex slot autoscaler. Autoscaling enables customers to take full advantage of BigQuery's elastic serverless architecture while maintaining controls over cost. With auto-scaling, you simply set the size of the environment you're willing to scale up to, and then BigQuery looks at your current query load. And if more budget is available and more capacity would accelerate your queries in flight, it scales up your environment on the fly in very small increments. By adjusting the size of your environment every few seconds, you get maximum performance without any wasted capacity up to your budget. Customers like Snap have been using this to provide phenomenal performance for their analysts, and we've had customers scale up tens of thousands of slots for incredible performance on really large workloads. In addition to the great capabilities we've announced for managing your query resources, we're also adding additional support for managing your storage. Snapshots, currently in preview, provide read-only point-in-time versions of tables without actually having to copy the base data and incur duplicate cost. They can be really useful for logical backups, saving the state of something like a financial dashboard at key points in time, and many other use cases. Clones, coming soon, provide modifiable versions of tables without having to copy the base data as well. This makes it possible for you to test things like schema evolution, where you're modifying columns for the rollout of a new version of your application, or to set up dev test environments that work end to end, so you can run queries on a large amount of data without incurring the cost of duplicate data just for a test environment. Once you're in the cloud, it's time to really leverage the capabilities that have been unlocked that will enable you to drive your business and really drive value from that data. Happy to highlight some of the investments across the full stack from high throughput ingestment to BI and tooling and ML that will help you unlock value from data. For customers who's with needs for real-time data analytics, the new BigQuery Write API is now generally available. This new Write API underscores our engineering innovation to bring industry-leading performance for streaming ingestion. With over one gigabyte per second of ingestion throughput enabled by default and the ability to scale to 100 times or more of that, the Write API allows you to unify streaming and batch ingestion and offers exactly one still of your semantics. It also supports stream level transactions and automatic detection of target schema changes. These features combined with native integration with the data flow will allow you to accelerate your real-time analytics workloads. It's also, I'm also happy to tell you that all this net new value over the previous streaming API uh, yet it's priced at 50% cheaper than the current offering. So we encourage you to move to the new BigQuery Write API. BigQuery is a powerful analytics engine that provides great performance on calculations and aggregations for data at any scale. However, the way customers use BigQuery has expanded from traditional data warehouses or data lakes today, data lakes, and today there are many applications built on BigQuery that may not want to crunch numbers, but simply return a handful of rows associated with a specific data point, like a name or an IP address. Customers expressed that when finding these specific data points in terabytes or petabytes of data, it was slower and maybe even more cost expensive than the applications were designed for. This is because BigQuery needs to do a full table scan and read all of the data just to find the rows associated with the unique element. To help customers build these operational applications on top of BigQuery, we are announcing new search capabilities in BigQuery. Customers can now create search indexes for a table that accelerates the speed at which you can identify the rows that contain specific text. You can use BigQuery search indexes in preview today if you have scenarios that would benefit from speed up of point lookups, 
Or another way, search indexes are useful when you need to find a needle in a haystack. Search indexes can be used across multiple columns at once. So even if you don't know exactly where the data is stored, it can still be found. It's also fully integrated with our native JSON data type, also in preview, meaning that you can search for fields and values in data that is unstructured or has a constantly changing structure. These search indexes also back our new log analytics application that was recently announced for cloud logging, which helps you use BigQuery to better understand your telemetry and data. Like the rest of BigQuery, these search indexes are fully managed and serverless. Google does all the resource provisioning, tokenizes the data, and loads the index behind the scenes. So once you create a search index on a table, you can start streaming data in and know that your search indexes will automatically be refreshed without any management overhead. We've been working with our customers on this feature who have started testing it for a variety of different use cases. For example, a major retailer has found that they are improving dashboards that have highly selective inventory items that they need to slice and dice. We've also worked with several companies in the EU who are, who are hoping to use search indexes to dramatically reduce costs for their GDPR processes, since they are now able to touch only the rows that contain specific individuals without no longer, having to copy, me, no longer having to query the full data set for each GDPR request. And of course, we found a myriad of other improvements for log analytics applications that can now use BigQuery for efficient lookups of things like IP addresses, error codes, emails, and URLs. We were one of the first to bring integrated machine learning into the data warehouse with BigQuery ML, and we continue to see tremendous adoption and customer innovation because of the ease of use, ability to unlock ML with only a few lines of SQL, and no infrastructure management. In addition to continued investment in additional models and capabilities like XGBoost, AutoML tables, and hyperparameter tuning, I wanted to highlight our work around a couple areas. First off, explainable AI. Explainable AI helps you understand the results that your predictive machine learning models generate by defining how much each feature contributes to the, predictable, to, to the predicted result. This is referred to as feature attribution. This information can be used to verify the model is behaving as expected, to recognize bias in your models, and to inform ways to improve your model and your training data. We support both local and global explainability. We're also investing in integrating VQML and Vertex AI closer together so you can leverage the best of both ML ops, best of both for ML ops deployments. For example, VQML models will be registered in Vertex and they can be used to manage versions and compared there. We'll also be adding support in Vertex pipelines. So all VQML training prediction will be possible through Vertex pipeline components. So with this user can continue to use their favorite notebook and use VQML pipeline components to invoke training and prediction. Overall, in partnership with the Vertex AI team, we're committed to delivering a powerful and fully integrated ML solution with great ease of use. Finally, happy to announce the launch of BigQuery's BI Engine, our solution for enabling data and business analysts to perform interactive analytics in real time and with high concurrency. BI Engine is not a cache. It is a fully distributed, highly available in-memory database engine, which is natively incorporated into standard BigQuery APIs. It enables sub-second queries on large data sets with high concurrency and can eliminate the need to manage BI servers or ETL pipelines. And it natively works with SQL and BI tools such as Looker, Tableau, Power BI, et cetera. For GA, we added support for pinned, pinning preferred tables in memory, up to one terabyte of memory per, reser per reservation, and additional join operations and support for streaming. This means that in combination with the new RAD API for high throughput streaming, materialized views, which have also been recently released, and BI Engine for acceleration of interactive analytics, these technologies all work together to make the vision of a always fresh, always fast analytics a reality at any scale. That was quite the whirlwind tour of what's new with BigQuery. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you can see our commitment to provide powerful analytics solutions that will help drive your businesses forward and help you unlock data. If you'd like to learn more, here are some additional sessions I suggest you take a look at to see the power of Omni serverless Spark, streaming, log analytics, and secure data, for cash, data classification with Google Cloud. Thanks again for joining me to learn more about BigQuery, and I hope we can help you drive your, your business and data analytics for your company forward. Thank you.